Hello friends, I'm Ashudev and today we have a new topic that is Western Ghats. This Western Ghat is the second longest mountain range in India after Himalaya and the second highland of India after Himalaya as you know. And this Western Ghat is also called as Shahadri Range and uh, almost this western ghat is a parallel to the western coastal region of indian peninsula peninsula and it start near border of gujarat and maharashtra exact here and you can say the south of tapti river that tapti river is a start from the amarkantak that is in mp madhya pradesh and merge it into the gulf of kambad near you can say in arabian sea near the city that is uh, surat surat is the city near this uh, tapti river and from here exact here it has started and ending point of this western ghat that is near kanyakumari you can say swami thope so i'll show you the whole uh, this green belt and before that there is a average elevation means the sum of the hill is below the 1200 meter and sum of the hill is above the 1200 meter uh, elevation 12, uh, 1200 meter heights so i'll show you this see uh, this is the western ghat this all green belt known as the western ghat as i told you the western coastal region here we have a Konkan coast, here we have a Malabo, Malabar coast. So Goa divides uh, two coasts, that is a Konkan coast and uh, Malabar coast. So uh, let's move forward with uh, what are the state it covers. So it covers six main state that is Gujarat, started from Gujarat, from north in north and then Maharashtra, Goa, Karnataka, Kerala and Tamil Nadu. And with the Tamil Nadu that is Kanyakumari. So, the length of this western ghat is a 1600 kilometer from north to south the length of this western ghat and the width if you talk about the width so width that is from east to west that is 100 kilometer this is the 100 kilometer width and if you talk about the area almost the area is goes like 160 thousand kilometer square so it's a very big area so as I told you, this is the second longest mountain range in India. So, so friend, I will tell you, this Western Ghats comes under the World Heritage Site, and it's also comes under the eight hottest hottest hotspot in the world. And these are the different sites, as I mentioned here. Kerala has a twenty sites, Karnataka has a ten sites, and Tamil Nadu has a five sites, Maharashtra has a four sites. So what are these sites? So these sites includes the biosphere reserves and the national parks, wildlife sanctuaries and bird sanctuaries. So these are the main sites in this uh, uh, Western Ghats. So this Western Ghats gives a 40% of drainage system into India. What is this drainage system? This drainage system means it gives the major rivers to India. As I mentioned here, the Godavari, the Godavari starting uh, started from the Trayambakeshwar near you can say Nasik. So Trayambakeshwar, uh, from Trayambakeshwar, Godavari river start started flowing and end with the merged into the Bay of Bengal. And here we have a Krishna river. Krishna river started from the in the famous uh, site that is uh, Mahabaleshwar. And Mahabaleshwar end, end with the merged into the Bay of Bengal. And here we have a Tunga river and Bhadra river. When this Tunga and Bhadra river combine, then another river form that is a Tunga Bhadra. And this Tunga Bhadra is a tributary of Krishna river, merged here in uh, Andhra somewhere. And here we have a Kaveri river. Kaveri river started from Kodagu. Uh, you can say near the Brahmagiri. From Brahmagiri, uh, like uh, Kodagu, it started flowing uh, that Kaveri and it merged into the Bay of Bengal. So uh, friends, these are the uh, uh, drainage system uh, in, from Western Ghat. And if you talk about what are the famous hills in this uh, Western Ghat. 
so uh, we uh, we shall start with uh, an anamodi that is anamodi the highest peak in the south india you can say south india is the highest peak that is anamodi so anamodi is in kerala and second we have a uh, mesa pulima mesa pulima also in the uh, kerala and if you talk about doda beta doda beta is very famous because the nilgiri hills nilgiri hills is nothing but is the uh, merging point of western ghat and eastern ghat here the western ghat eastern ghat combine together and form a new hill that is a nilgiri hills so in nilgiri hills the famous hill station that is a uti and udga mandalam uh, as we know so my friend uh, next we have a peramula peak perapura milk is in kodai canal the kodai canal is also a famous hill station and we have a chokra modi that is in munnar munnar is also a famous hill station that is in kerala and after that here we have a mulyangiri that is in karnataka and kudermukh kudermukh is in also in karnataka the famous district that is chikmagalur chikmagalur famous for the uh, coffee farming here and uh, this uh, kudermukh is known as uh, the head of a ho horse look like the head of horse so that's why it's a kudermukh and brahmagiri as i told you brahmagiri is in kodagu that is karnataka here we have kodagu kodagu is also a famous hill station is known as a kunnur and after we have a singhar sihangar sihangar that is in pune is a famous uh, site that is a famous uh, for a sihangar fort and sihangar is also hill that is in pune and after that we have a trembakeshwar hill that is in nasik trembakeshwar from trembakeshwar that is uh, like uh, godavari river start flowing so friend i covered the whole uh, western uh, ghat about uh, what are the uh, length width and area and what are the average elevation and from where it is uh, what are the state it covers uh, it's covered uh, five or uh, six major state of india so what are the main drainage system uh, like what are the main rivers i i as i explained here so thank you my friend uh, please do like share and comment and share uh, share as well, sorry uh, subscribe as well thank you so much